Hi guys, I'm Joe Miller. I'm here with me and my golf, and this is my swing analysis. So as you can see, it's time for my swing analysis. This is where we analyse one of your golf swings to help you take charge. Yes, and if you want to have the chance to have your swing analysed by myself and Pierce, go to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter today and enter the competition. It could be you. Good luck with that. Right, now Andy, it's distance week. All week on me and my golf, it has been distance week. Now, who better to analyse than... Me. You'd be really good, but actually, no, we're going to go with Joe Miller. He's, so former and future... a little future, bit past me, a little bit longer. World long drive champion. He's a little bit past you, definitely, yes. So... Obviously, we've done some videos with Joe this week, and you know, this is a guy who swings the club, a club head speed at 140 to 150 miles per Incredible hour. Incredible speed. Which is absolutely ridiculous. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a few key things that Joe does in his analysis of his golf swing, and we're going to see if you can do some of it, and no I want to see if you can get a 145 mile per hour club head speed. Yeah, easy. Do easy. Get, can I run? Have <laughs> a run, and run. You can run, you can get in your car. <laughs> that might be better. All right, okay, so let's just have a look. Um, actually, sorry, before we get into the golf swing, Let's just talk a few things about what Joe's trying to do. As a long drive champion, you're obviously trying to get as much club head speed as possible, but you're also looking for optimum conditions when you're striking the golf ball. Yep. And one of those is getting the attack angle as much up on the golf ball as you can when you are striking it. So actually about sort of nine degrees, didn't it? On some nine degrees on the way up, which is crazy, where average on tour is actually about one, one degree down. So yep. we've got Trackman here, we've got Body Track to help show you how Andy and how Joe is going to get that attack angle up and hopefully get lots of power into that golf swing. So yeah. if we look at it first of all, from his setup, we can see straight away the ball is far forward in the stance, okay? We can see he's on a very high tee peg as well, so that's going to help him hit the golf ball on the way up. The shaft is lent backwards as well, which is great for hitting up with the driver. But interestingly, in his setup, Andy, he's actually got a little bit more weight into his front side, his front foot. We'll come to that in a moment. So then as he starts his backswing, you can see Maybe because he's got that weight in that front foot, he is moving a lot toward the tar uh, away from the target. Sorry, so he's moving up into his backswing, what he calls an upload, and he gets to the top of his backswing. Andy, look at that! Can you get that far? Um, I'll have a go. <laughs> this I might is, pull a this muscle is amazing. Away. He couldn't actually hold that position. It's very dynamic. So from there, as he as he swings back down, that left foot slams into the ground. You can see his body unwinding through the hit, and he's hitting up on the golf ball when he strikes this, and then he's pretty much walking down the fairway after the golf ball through the shot. So. Down the line, again, we don't want to talk too much about the normal positions we would do here normally. You can see, again, he's got this massive wind-up, this big overswing of the golf club, that left shoulder really going on a big journey in the backswing. As he starts his downswing, you see the club comes out quite steep in front, quite characteristic with the long drive hitters. But then this is quite interesting, watching what his head does through the golf ball. And we can actually see his feet are coming up in the air. So on the body track, there'd actually be a black spot where he's actually not touching the ground. This is great, as Joe said earlier, for not getting any injury prevention. And then obviously he's walking down toward the target. Now, Andy. Have I got to do all that? You've got to do all of that. <laughs> I am so, so looking forward to doing this, but I think we should just go through a few things in, in the setup. Why he puts the weight onto that lead side. Let's focus with that first of all. Okay, well, it's all to do with this upload that Joe talked about, really, and this upload is really getting him into this sort of wind-up on the way back and allowing him to get this pressure into the trail foot, which is going to allow him to use his lower body, but also get the angle of attack, which is very much up. So okay. let's talk about this upload then. So Joe would have this setup up here, he would have the spine tilted away, which was good, yeah. but he'd have, let's say, around about 60% of weight in this lead side. And what this helps him do, it actually helps him push in the backswing, push off to this right foot. He calls this the upload, where he pushes off in, onto the trail foot, and then winds up into the backswing. Keep going, and really keep going. gets this, this <laughs> pressure here now, right into this, this trail foot. The foot comes up, the lead foot comes up, but look at the shoulder. It has moved loads behind the golf ball, and this really helps him then to slam back down, okay, yeah. get the pressure into the lead foot here, and then really attack that golf ball on the way up, which we know that Joe hits very much upon the golf ball, and, and generates a very low spin to optimize that sort of distance that he gets. Okay, so with that said, I mean, obviously this is all about optimizing distance, getting as much distance out of it as possible. You've got a little drill here which is gonna help do this. Yeah, so, what what, so look, we, we're not gonna ask everybody to swing like Joe no. Miller because he's an athlete, he trains for this, he's Every day. all about power. We wanna be able to optimize power, but still keep the consistency there in terms of hitting the fairways and strikes. So we're gonna really take a look at Yes, we want to get pressure into the trail foot. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to really focus on what the upper body, but mainly the lead shoulder does in that backswing to help us do that. Obviously, we're going to look at the pressure in the feet yep. as well. So we're going to go through this here. We've got a, an alignment stick in the ground that's opposite 
my trail shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to get myself in a position where I'm, I'm going to actually do what Joe Miller does, put a bit of pressure on this lead leg at the start. But what I'm going to focus on here, the drill, is to get my left shoulder to actually swing back and get the left shoulder opposite this alignment stick. Now this is really now getting that pressure into this trail foot pace. This is really getting me behind the golf course. Do that again, you keep your arm on the club those please. And you're copying a breather here as you're doing this. Come on, there we go. So you can see as Annie's doing this, that left shoulder, as he said, is taking a really big journey as it goes back. Lead heels coming up, loading up into the trail side. As Annie said, he's not swaying. Joe does sway when he moves back, but as Joe, all Joe needs to do is hit one good one. Definitely, he gets a little bit of sway, but he certainly rotates as well oh, into yeah. this hip. Now, the key thing is when you're doing this, guys, look, two options. If you're struggling to get your left shoulder back over that alignment stick, then just allow the foot to come up, yep. okay? Just lead foot to come up and the knee to kick in, that'll help you get there. Definitely helps you. if you can do it, keeping the lower body stable and brilliant, then you're a lot more flexible than me. Okay, all right, so let's finish this up. Let's see here, Sean, I'm gonna get this one out of the way, because I'm kind of thinking you could hit anything on the way okay, down right. doing so this. So here we go, I'm gonna have the Joe Miller upload, a little bit of weight on the lead side, the Joe Miller upload, onto that side there. Whoa. So Joe, as I said, anything from 140 mile power up us, please. Okay. And we'd like to see an attack angle, which is about six degrees up as well, I haven't please. even warmed up here, Pierce. So. <laughs> right, we here could we hear go. a break on this This is one. the Joe Miller upload. Bit of weight in this lead side. Make sure I get this left shoulder well back behind the golf ball. Whoa, that was a boomer. <laughs> Dead straight. It's still in the air. Plenty to carry on that, Pierce. That was a... Forget accurate, forget, sorry, distance. It's straight that's as well. Green, that one, that's not bad. He got over 120 mile per hour there, Andy. That's <laughs> not bad for an old boy like you. Okay, attack angle was good as well, hitting it on the way up, which is great. So guys, look, as we said there, it is. this is all about distance, taking out some components that Joe does in his goal swing. An amazing goal swing, good player as well, very powerful. So just be careful when you're trying these things yourself, definitely. Definitely. So give that a go. Post any comments and questions down below, guys. And... Uh, Maybe that's going to help you just knock it flash flash your brain partners. Yeah, time. maybe. So we hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit the like button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this every single week, hit the subscribe button right below. So you also make sure that you check out the rest of the videos we've done at Distance Week this week. And also, if you really want to get some distance, go to Go Long Video Series in meandmygolf.com. Click the link in the corner. We know you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching.